Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So, um, I bought three th things from uh, Emerald City Comic Con uh, this year. One of them has still yet to come in. The Mr. McSpiglick uh, hasn't come in yet from the time I'm filming this. Um, but I'm gonna go go ahead and go over the others. Uh, plus one more thing. Um, so I didn't post an ECCC want this year because honestly it was such a small list that I'm like and I really don't even feel like filming it now <clears throat> now I know this year was smaller uh, than most years and I do want to state my opinion about that I'm perfectly fine with it to me that just means less of a headache <laughs> to go through so I'm perfectly fine with it being a smaller con than usual in fact I prefer it <laughs> um, but that being said I did miss out on two uh, that I kind of wanted. I, the ones that I got were the ones I most wanted, the DC stuff. Uh, but I kind of wanted the classic Thor to go with my classic Marvel collection, as well as the Buzz Off, but I can get those later. So let's go ahead and start with Black Canary. Black Canary was the uh, one I wanted the most, and I already put it in a protector. <laughs> I know, you know, compared to some of the other stuff that released this year, it's not going to be worth a lot, but it's worth a lot to me. A lot, a lot to me. Earlier on in my channel, I mentioned a couple times that there was a comic that changed my life. Um, it was a Birds of Prey comic, and Black Canary was one of the stars, one of the you know characters that starred in Birds of Prey. Um, so yeah, this this character means a lot to me, <laughs> and I was so psyched. To see her so let's get a look at the box first there is a small crease here thank you Walgreens but I can totally live with it there's an illustration on the back with her logo oh man this is beautiful <laughs> all right now I haven't taken the pop out of the box yet I literally just took it out of the packing box and straight into a sock protector so here she is, you know, <clears throat> when you look at it, it's a very simple pop, and uh, the only thing I'll say, and I knew this as soon as I looked at it in the box, the print on the seams of her fishnets don't line up correctly, but other than that, this is Black Canary. This is 100% Black Canary. If you had this sitting on a shelf, nowhere, you know, the box nowhere near and a DC fan walked by, they would say, Black Canary. And it comes with a stand, but she does not need it. She stands up fine on her own. So, which, that definitely sounds like Dinah. So, I am so very happy and thankful that we got this pop for Emerald City. Uh, we did get a door version of her with Green Arrow up there. When, that was 2017. Um... So, I've been waiting for the pop version of her. Uh, now we just need uh, Helena and Zinda. Uh, Huntress and um, Lady Blackhawk. I'm, my mind blanked for a second. Now, the other one I got in... I have three things to show, show but only two are Emerald City. The other one is the Starfire Bombshell. Right off the bat, I'll tell you, this is the heavy... It's not, like, super heavy, but it's the heaviest rock candy <laughs> I've ever felt. I opened this up and took it out of the box. I was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, but that makes sense. She's holding, like, a coat and hat and everything, and the hair is also, you know, a very large sculpt. So, here in the silhouette, you can see the statue from DC Collectibles. And I thought that was really, really, really neat. Obviously, there's the rock candy and then the bombshell logo. This is awesome. And this was the only thing I wanted out of the Funko shop. So, I was very happy that it went to the Funko shop. Because everyone else was like, I just want the pops. So, uh, so let's go ahead and get her out of here. Now, she comes with a stand. I'm, before, I, yeah, why did she come with a stand? It? The coat she's holding... She's not even, you know, tipping a, even a little bit. She is perfectly fine to stand on her own without the stand. 
But anyway, so here is Starfire. One of the things I love about this is just the whole different sculpt. I <clears throat> I showed the uh, statue off in my first statue collection video. Um, hopefully by the time y'all are watching this, the third is out. I don't know. <laughs> if it's not, it's coming, I promise. But uh, her statue is one of my favorites due to the design of it. In the hair, you can see, see this part of her hair is separate from her head like it's a separate piece that they glued on and you can tell because the colors change drastically and very bluntly but <laughs> I'm okay with that because you can see the translucent fire at the end of her hair that is beautiful and I love it so 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 much uh, now if there's one thing I would say I'd say the connection from the wrist to the arm it almost looks like a doll because it it almost looks like it's a joint instead of just you know supposed to be a solid piece so they definitely could have blended that in a little bit more but the pose itself she has her fire helmet under her arm it still says 52 on it uh, or no sorry I was holding it wrong 52 not 25 52 uh, this is awesome she's holding her fire jacket this is awesome uh, the suspenders, and obviously those signature green starfire eyes. I love this rock candy so much. <laughs> I love anything bombshell, you guys know that. Uh, and I've been waiting to get her in uh, Funko form, the bombshell version of her in Funko form. We've gotten, um, what, we got the regular starfire from Teen Titans Go, the starfire as the Flash, and then... The punk rock looking Starfire thing that I still don't really understand why. <sighs> I'm guessing it's based off an episode, I don't know. But anyway, I'm very psyched about both of these. And this next one, I've been wanting it since New York Comic Con. <laughs> um, so I got a message from Sheree, uh, Tylock's wife at uh, Homespun Geek. Because uh, she knew I'd been wanting this, and she was looking uh, on some Funko sites, and she saw this one at Gemini Collectibles, and it was a lot cheaper than what people were wanting for it on, like, eBay and Macari, and I was like, sold. So, thank you, Cherie. Thank you so much for sending me that link. So, this is the pink uh, five-star Harley Quinn. Now, I don't collect five-star, not really. I have, like, what, three, four? I think four. Uh, five now, but I love the pink Harley Quinn. Love the pink Harley Quinn. So I really wanted the five star version of her pink. And you can see the sticker for people who care about stickers, care too much about stickers. This one did come straight from the con, so that's kind of cool. So there is the pink Harley Quinn. It's exactly like the other one. It's just a repaint. Uh, the the pop gun and the mallet have been painted pink and the Joker card is the exact same as it is in the regular version. So I'm not going to take this one out, but again, thank you, Cherie. I really appreciate this. Oh, I'm so happy I finally got that. But the biggest thing I'm the most excited for about is this Black Canary Pop. One of these days I'm going to have to make a video uh, talking about that comic book, but I'm going to warn you guys now, it's going to make me cry. <laughs> Definitely gonna make me cry, but uh, I have no problem. Let me know if you guys are interested in that if you guys would want to know But if you're not if you if it's not trust me, I won't be offended. I'm just wondering but uh, Yeah, so that was my Most of my Emerald City Comic Con haul this year. I'm still waiting on Mr. McSpicklick from Entertainment Earth uh, and oh, I forgot to Mention you know, it went around as soon as this one started getting released people were all up in their I'm not gonna say it but they were so freaking mad because it didn't have a sticker on it the Emerald City Comic Con sticker and I am someone I can live without the stickers I can live without the stickers I know some people are very particular about their stickers like, some people will go crazy over this just because it has a sticker from the con instead of a shared sticker on it. 
but and I'm someone if a pop has a sticker on it I prefer it with the sticker but I can live without it would I have liked this a little bit better if it did have the sticker on it yeah but I love this character and this pop so much I honestly do not care at all <laughs> I, I'm just happy we got the pop I don't care about the sticker whatsoever so that's my thought on the uh what do you call it MIA yeah the MIA, the MIA sticker with like an area I could care less but anyway thank you all so much for watching let me know what you got for Emerald City Comic Con and what your thought on the missing sticker is because like I said I couldn't care less and what you thought about the con in general did you think it was a good you know release I thought it was pretty good it expanded a lot of different you know fandoms and things like that and uh the dc pops this year funko's hitting it out of the park and i love it i absolutely love it so hopefully we will get a huntress and a lady blackhawk before the end of the year i don't know i'm just hoping but anyway, thank you all so much for watching remember it's a community not a competition and i'll see y'all later bye